simple example of what you can do with uh, Pentaho. I have these two files that I want to process. These files. So I have like one file that is ages. So I have a social security number and the age of the person. And then I have people that is name, last name and social security number. You can see that some of them match and some others they don't. Um, so what we want to do is like merge these two files, like if they were like tables in SQL or something like that, and we'll write it to an output file. So for that, we are going to uh, create a transformation. We are trying creating a transformation and not the job because we are processing multiple rows and we are not administering jobs. That will be a matter of another uh, lesson. But for now, we'll do a very basic, ex basic example. So let's, we have CSV files, so we can do CSV file input. Uh, let's browse, let's find uh, the our people. Uh, and this is tricky, uh, I did it on purpose because if you see the people file, we have the separator is a column, right? So, so we have to modify the separator uh, and then if we get fields, uh, we don't want the sample, so we cancel this and then we have the fields that we have there. Also, we need the other input file that will be exactly the same, we'll get the other input ages. Uh, okay, uh, we have the, the separator here is uh, the normal one, like the comma, <laughs> uh, and then we'll get fields, no sample, only two fields, that's what we have there, that's it. Now we want to, to join them. To join them, we'll use the join we can use any of the joints that they're provided with the with Pentaho. We'll use the Cartesian product. In this case, it will be useful for us. We uh, will select this here. So we'll do main output step. We are not managing errors yet because this is a very basic example again. Uh, let's do the same with this other. There you go. And then let's see what we are joining actually so we are we are joining every everything with everything no we want to join by social security number so it will be like this one with this one right we have the social security numbers that in this case are named differently in the two uh, files okay so we have our join here and then we want to write it to a file in this case just for the sake of a demonstration uh, let's do text file output there you go. Nope. Text file output, I said. There you go. And then we have here. And then we'll write all the output there. Let's put a name to a file. Let's put output one. We'll okay. The file extension will put CSV. It can be text, txt, but let's do uh, CSV, we have a lot of other options, we'll see it in the, uh, in the future, in uh, future lessons. The fields that we want, it will be automatically populated. But we don't want social security number two times because it will be the same. So what we'll do is just uh, remove, remove one of them. This way we can manage the output that we have uh, as a result. Perfect. Let's run it. When we are running it, it will ask me to uh, save it. It will ask me to save it. Yes, let's put test two. And uh, it ran already. So now we are trying to open it. Uh, output CSV. And there you go. So it's, this is like an inner join. Uh, we have all the, let's see, here we have three person. One of them is the 13333. This is 1333, Fabio Serpa, Fabio Serpa is here, right? The other two are there too. So there are some people that doesn't have age. As a good exercise is to try to make the people that doesn't have any age to the output. I will write the exercise to do based on this in some other place. Uh, hopefully this is useful for you.